Hey everybody, this is Jim with Retired to Resell, and uh, today I wanted to go over some men's pants. I had a great day yesterday. I hit the jackpot with men's pants at this Goodwill, and I just kind of wanted to go over some of the brands that I found and go over the sell-through rates and average price of what they should sell for. Hopefully you're going to find a brand or two that you maybe haven't heard of or haven't seen, and if you haven't been through the men's pants section, I highly recommend it. I think it's a, it's a really overlooked section in the thrift stores. And I seem to find a lot of pants. I've sold over 200 pairs of pants in the last few months. And I thought we could kind of go over it and see what we could find. All right, so the first one I wanted to go over was 34 Heritage. Now, this is a brand new brand to me. I have never heard of it. Um, it was new with tags in the store and it, it's just a really nice material. I had to look it up in the store and um, the comps were really great. So there were currently 132 listed, 129 sold, which is, you know, great. It's a 100% sell through rate. And the average price is $30 to $40. Now I did all my comps on pre-owned, um, but these are new with tags. So you should be able to get a little bit more than that. So I'm kind of excited about this brand and see how quickly they will sell. All right, next up is American Eagle Active Flex Jogger. So these were new with tags as well. I, I mean, when I said I hit the jackpot, I think out of the 13 pairs of pants that I found, I think eight of them were new with tags, which is pretty rare for me. I might find one or two uh, every once in a while, but to find eight new with tags, it was pretty incredible. Um, I usually shy away from American Eagle, but I looked these up, these Active Flex Joggers, and there are 88 listed and 76 sold, which is right around an 85% sell-through rate. And they're going for $20 to $25. So the next one is Brooks Brothers. Now, I'm sure you've all heard of Brooks Brothers. Um, I've sold quite a few shirts of Brooks Brothers and ties, um, but I've never really saw pants. But as I was flipping through, again, new with tags, uh, this is a Brooks Brothers Advantage Chino Clark series. I found two of these. There's another one a little bit darker. And so I had to look up the sell-through rates um, with Brooks Brothers pants. So the Clark Chinos, they had 1,300 listed and 645 sold, which is you know a little lower sell-through rate than I usually like. But since these were new with tags, I went ahead and grabbed them. That's about a 50% sell-through rate. And they'll sell anywhere from $20 to $25. New with tags, probably around $30 to $35. Uh, so the next one was another Brooks Brothers uh, Advantage Chino, but this is the Milano series. Just a little bit uh, higher end, I believe. And the Milano series had 108 listed and 81 sold for about a 75% sell through rate. All right, sticking with Brooks Brothers, I found these here and I kind of had to flip through it. It didn't have any tags or anything like that or anything on the back like it usually does. I saw it because of the button here. It has a Brooks Brothers logo on the button. And when I looked into it, again, there's. That's what you're looking for right there. And these are corduroy. So I've sold quite a few corduroy pants lately here in the winter and uh, they sell really quickly. So Brooks Brothers corduroy pants, 653 listed, 569 sold for an 87% sell through rate. And these are gonna sell anywhere from 25 to $30. So definitely keep an eye out for Brooks Brothers, especially the corduroy pants. All right, so the next one here is Hiltel. Um, I've sold a few Hiltel dress pants in the past, um, and it's kind of hit or miss. Some of them, you know, when I was looking up comps, you know, the dress pants were like $80, $90, and then other Chino pants were like $10 or $15. So some of them I've passed up on, and some of them I've grabbed. This one I've never really seen before. It had, you know, a really cool logo here on the back. It was just a really nice material. That I kind of wish they were my size. I'd probably keep them. Um, but as I looked at the tags, I noticed that they were made out of wool. So I looked up the comps on Hiltel wool pants. And so there was only 83 listed and 44 sold, which is about a 53% sell through rate. Again, not, not super high, but the price is what got me and why I wanted to pick these up. Uh, Pre-owned Hiltel wool pants are selling anywhere from between 50 and $60. So these are pretty good pants. I'm gonna list them and see what we can get. Okay, next brand is Johnny O. So if you haven't heard of Johnny O, it's a, it's a really great brand. I have had a lot of luck with this, and for some reason I've found a lot of Johnny O new with tag shirts lately. Just about every time I go thrifting. I'm not sure what's going on, but um, 
Uh, I'm not going to complain too much, but these are the Johnny O prep formance pants. Um, these are really like great, great pants for golf. They're kind of an outdoor, uh, real stretchy spandex material. So Johnny O prep formance pants. There are 98 listed, 101 sold, which is a little over 100% sell through rate, which is great. And they're going anywhere from between $25 and $35. So keep your eye out for Johnny O, especially their shirts as well. All right, this next brand is one of my favorite brands to sell. Um, I find these pants just about every single time I go to a thrift store, and that is Mountain Khakis. Here's the inside tag, and here's the back tag with the little buffalo. Kind of got the MK right down there. So these are Mountain Khaki Classic Fit Corduroy Pants. Now I find a lot of just the regular Chino pants. I've, I've sold a few of these corduroy pants, and the sell-through rate is crazy on these. Um, so corduroy pants, there are currently 83 listed and 127 sold. So that's a little over 150% sell-through rate. And the corduroy pants are going to sell for around $25 to $30. And I found two pairs of the corduroy pants. This one is in a dark navy blue. So two pairs of mountain khaki corduroy pants. And right next to those was just a regular pair of mountain khaki Chino pants, kind of this olive green. Again, here's the logo on the back that you're looking for. So mountain khaki chinos are pretty easy to spot in Goodwills. I spot them by the pockets here. You know, when they're all lined up in the racks, you can see this kind of L-shaped, a little bit square-shaped pocket here. And that's what stands out. So take a look if you ever see those pockets. So the regular chino pants, uh, there are, there's quite a few of these. They're 1,600 listed and 1,200 sold. It's about a 75% sell-through rate. And these are going to go for about $20 to $25. All right, another really great brand that you're going to want to look for is Peter Millar. Now, I've sold a lot of Peter Millar shirts, the Summer Comfort shirts. I mean, they sell pretty good, but it's kind of a slow seller for me. But every time I've, I've picked up these Peter Millar pants, these are like performance golf pants again. It's the real stretchy spandex material. These sell really fast for me. Um, there are 3,200 listed and 3,000 sold which is about a 94% sell-through rate. And they go, they're a little bit all over the place. They're, they go from anywhere from $25 to $45. I usually list mine for about $29.95, and they go pretty quick. All right, and last but not least, everybody knows this brand, Under Armour. So these, again, were new with tags right here, and these are the Performance Tapered Golf Pants. Now, Under Armour shirts and, like, quarter zips and stuff like that, they sell okay. They're a little bit slow for me. Um, I don't have a whole lot of luck with them, so I usually pass them up unless it's something just really great. But these Under Armour golf pants, they sell very fast. Um, I do really well with the golf pants. Um, so I looked up these Under Armour tapered golf performance pants. There are 106 listed, 114 sold, which is, again, over 100% sell-through rate. And these are new with tags, but uh, the pre-owned ones, they'll go for anywhere from $20 to $25, but they're going to sell extremely fast. So keep your eye out for Under Armour golf pants. Yeah, so that's all. I just wanted to kind of go over this thrift haul. I was pretty excited about finding 13 really good pairs of pants. And, uh, you know, especially with eight of them being new with tags, that was, that was pretty crazy. I, I, that's not a normal day for me at all, but um, I was really excited about it. I wanted to share it with everybody. Hopefully you found a few brands in there that you haven't heard of, or maybe it'll get you excited to get out there and go through the, the men's pants section and see if you can find any of these. Anyway, good luck out there, and I'll be talking to you later. Thanks.